How's it going, people? Simon Slabby, you. And the game has now just been updated. Uh, well, I say just. It was updated yesterday. And we've also got patch notes. So, yeah. The update itself is nothing uber major, I guess. But it is kind of handy ish, depending on if you'd like to use this kind of thing or not. Basically, they add in a few things to the bank, such as quick presets and the ability to drag and drop stuff. So in a nutshell, for free players and members, quick presets are an easy way to equip yourself with an often used loadout of gear or with a backpack of essential items for a skill in or boss run. The best way to see how it works is simply to give it a try, so you may as well log in and do it to be totally honest. But basically, you set it up, so for example you can set up your inventory. We'll stick with the inventory first just so I can explain this if you haven't tried it already. Hopefully I can make this easy to understand. If, for example, you were to set out your inventory uh, with something you commonly use, so let's say you personally really like to do Slayer tasks and you like to go bossing more often than anything else, well you could set it up so in your inventory you could have something along the lines of an overload renewal, uh, super prayer, super prayer, super prayer, and then the rest is just rock tail soups. And you could save that inventory, exactly what that inventory looks like, so Overload, Renewal, Triple Super Prayer, and then everything Rocktail Soups. And you could save it as a preset in your bank. And then let's say you go out and you go do something else, then you come back, your inventory is now empty. You could go straight back into your bank, and all you'd have to do this time is simply click the preset button, and your inventory would instantly fill with Overload Renewal, Triple Super Prey, and Rocktail Soups if you have them in your bank. In a nutshell, that's what it is. And I'm pretty sure it also works with your equipment as well. So it works exactly the same thing, except for you can add your equipment to it as well. So you can instantly pull out all of your mage gear, for example, as well as fill your inventory with all that stuff. So. Yeah, you go up to any kind of boss, stab it for a while until your inventory is empty, go back to the bank, click one button, and you're ready to go back on to bossing. That's pretty much how it's going to work. Additionally, they've added the ability to drag and drop items from your bank. Uh, basically, what this means is you can now drag an item from inside your bank and drop it outside of the bank window, and it'll destroy the item rather than drop it. At the moment, you well, before this update, uh, you'd have to literally like, right-click into your inventory and then drop it and delete or whatever. Now you can just lob it out the window and it'll instantly delete. It won't drop on the floor, apparently. So that's that. Uh, basically, that is the update. That is the bank update. There's nothing much else up here, as far as I know. I honestly don't remember. Savaganda. Oh, no, you also had the Solomon General Store. Um... Yeah, emotes. It's the usual Solomon store. I really just don't want to cover it. <laughs> anyway, patch notes. Uh, these, these, a few of them. Let's get into it. Cold fix. A rare connection loss message when buying bank slots with room coins has been fixed. A problem that meant interfaces were breaking when level requirements were not met and leaving behind part of the interface that could be hovered over, right clicked, has been fixed. Apparently. Uh, graphical wise, when wearing Shadow Ariana's robe top, the skin colour of a male player's torso and arms will now match the rest of her body. Uh, some missing textures have been applied to the male Shadow Owen and Shadow Ozan hairstyles. The Spit Roast model in Lumbridge has been updated. I'm way too immature. Players will no longer receive scroll port missions if they already own all scrolls in the player own port. The perks interface in Heist now has horizontal and vertical bars when shrink. I'm sorry, I, the image of a spit roast model in Lumbridge is just amusing me to no end of the mood. Uh, moving on to quest, Azanadro is getting a bit confused and sent distant after Zaros return. He has since been enlightened and feels much more informed. An issue in Zaros' dialogue that was causing confusion during the fates of the god has been corrected. The Fremenic achievement list will now correctly ragonize when a player completes the bar crawl. Oosh! I did that stuff. Ah, drunkards! Players can no longer use the offhand bind slot within drag 
Dungeoneering to complete the Have 4 Bound Items task before having the required level. On to your miscellaneous and ninja zoo. A new message has been added in the clan admin message system for when a clan mate is kicked from the clan. A typo with the ban removal message in clan admin messaging has been fixed. Clan avatars will no longer disappear when teleporting from a player owned house. That also happens in player owned ports. And apparently that's not been fixed. A clan event notice board can now have heist as an activity. Players will know. will know? Players will now be able to hear a lashing sound when using the Fury ability with an Abyssal Whip. Several examines that refer to Zamrog as evil has been made more objective. Audio dropouts on a large selection of music tracks has been fixed. Right click options have been removed when right clicking buttons on the ribbon. Onto your ninjas, the damage from Dread Nips has been slightly buffed. I think it might need to be more than slightly buffed to make Dread Nips useful again. Karasi's sword has been made into a stabbing weapon once again. I don't know if you know what that was changed, but fair enough. All animations for crafting runes at an altar have been updated. Ooh. So yeah, that's pretty much it, people. That is all the updates. So those are the patches for today. Well, yesterday all this came out. Same with the bank updates. Um, if you can draw, you can always design a pet. That's apparently a competition. You can, yeah, entirely up to you. Um, that's it. So we go. Hopefully you have all been informed. You've got the bang update as well as a bollock and a patch loads. As far as I know, I don't think there's any other updates coming this week. I don't think so. So yeah, tomorrow, hopefully, we'll have a podcast law. Because people seem to be okay with that, so fair enough. I might try that out, see what happens. And MCFS, maybe Friday, Thursday. Let's see if I can get day 14 on Thursday. And then Quest Guide Friday, and then we'll see what happens on the weekend. Oosh. So until next time, people, I will catch you all later. Have a good one.